Ja. Uh, are you ready? Okay. So welcome everybody. We are here to praise to talk about uh, our project Calliopen. It's about merely privacy and X metrics in digital communication. I am Emric and uh, I am Stan. Okay. Uh, we have to speak with one mic microphone for both. So it will be something. Uh, <laughs> okay, thank you. So uh, we are for privacy indexes. What is privacy? You know all what is privacy. Uh, but in digital communication, I think that we lost all of our privacy. So Calliopen is a project, it's a product to uh, bring back to users their privacy. We will describe how we want to make this possible. Ça marche comment Ah Ok. Calliopen handle of private exchange. Today, it's not about email. When we communicate, it's about multi protocols. It can be Skype, it can be uh, Twitter, di direct message, it can be Facebook Messenger, lot of. And some are oriented for privacy, like si Signal, Telegram for end-to-end uh, -end encryption and uh, guarantee that people get their privacy and communication and only be between users. But we don't speak about protocols. We want to speak about content, about who discuss with whom. It's not uh, when we speak with Twitter or Facebook, it's not only uh, protocols, it's about uh, people speaking together. So, Calliopen is discussion oriented, it's not protocol. We want to gather all communication between same people on the same place, on the same discussions. Uh, protocols matter only for privacy, privacy measurements. It's about, depending on protocol used, we have not the same privacy. And so Calliopen will try to have to compute so that's privacy based on protocols, but not only protocols. It's about all the other things that interact between people communicating. So, privacy index is nothing new. Uh, maybe I'm an old geezer with a vieux schnock in France. <laughs> uh, but uh, I was used to be able to know when something is private or not. Uh, when I send a letter and I put it in an envelope, I seal the envelope and I know that no one else than the recipient can read it. And if I send a postcard and I write on my postcard my address and the code to enter to my home and I say, uh, you can find the key just on the right of, of my door. I know that it's not private and that everybody can read the postcard and see what's on it. So it's easy for me to, it was easy for me, to, to, to know when something is private and what it's, when it's not private. And the problem is... It should be the same on the internet. We should be able to, be, to, to see easily when something is private and no, when it's not private. But it seems that it's not really the case. Uh, we are losing the control of our mailbox or, or, and our, over our communication. We don't know exactly what's happened and what's going on. So. We need to um, have some matrix or some something just to to show to see that something is private or less and more private, and this is the other problem issue that um, we can say on the internet that something is private or it's not private. Something it's a level of privacy the shades of privacy. And uh, <clears throat> we, we need to, to, to see that, to feel it, and uh, to be able to uh, have something as um, 
uh, easy that than in, in the in the real life uh, with letter with paper with envelope. So <coughs> we are, we need to recreate in digital age what was easy to understand in the paper age. Okay, but the fact is the internet was not designed for that purpose. When it was built, it's about uh, telnet, FTP, communications are in clear text on the wire, and uh, also SMTP with multiple relay, multiple op is not secure. There is not privacy. It's clear text over the, 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 the internet. And uh, starting at 95, 95, SSH appears, <coughs> also TLS at the time, but it's not for users. TLS was, uh, and SSL on TLS was built to guarantee uh, bank transactions over the internet, to permit to have the, ca the number, card number to not be in clear on the wire. It's normal. We want to have this credit card number visible by all administrators, by all people that can be, uh, that can <coughs> see the, um, the, the, the flows on the internet. It's a problem. So now, in this century, we try to be, we began to have uh, new protocols, new securization possibilities. But as I said, it's disparate. It's multi protocols. It's many things that you have uh, many <coughs> ways to communicate with each other. Today, email can be secure for me. I'm a technical guy. I know how I can secure my emails, <coughs> but not all my uh, communications. Only the body, the content of the message can be encrypted. Metadata still exists and can be top, uh, taped by uh, governments or, also, or other people. It's a real problem. It's a real problem for privacy. We can know who speak with whom. We have metadata give a lot of information, maybe more than uh, for the, the content itself. That uh, it could be a short message with no interest, but metadata is really important. And we have to find a way. Emails still have this problem. Darkmail Alliance try to find a way to evolve SMTP protocols to make it more secure and leak less metadata. Other protocols uh, acting end-to-end -end encryptions uh, want to hide much metadata as possible. That's where we are. But is it enough? Is it complete? No, it's not. Because multi-protocols, multi-things, and oh, what? how can we do that? So uh, many, uh, many tools to use are not uh, secure at all. Facebook Messenger, Twitter direct message are not. We can use a bit of PGP in these protocols, but uh, who, who protects uh, this uh, kind of uh, things? I think no one, see? Someone use PGP in uh, Facebook? No? Yeah? yeah, one. yeah. Oh, only one. OK, <laughs> that's fine. But you can't use it on your smartphone. The PGP is only available on your browser side with Facebook. When you enable PGP, you can't use it anymore. It's a problem because our usage is also with other devices, with other practice. So we have to uh, find a way to show how it's secure or not. Uh, so, but as I say, metadata is important because it's exposed all our social graph. We speak about uh, social uh, networks, so we have a lot of friends of, friend of friends on Facebook, on Twitter, on other uh, diaspora or other tools like this. It's important. We have to interact with people we know, with for professional, for personal reasons. But it's really a problem because it's not a technical port. It's not about the protocols all itself. It's about who speak with whom. And when I am a user securing myself on my emails, Maybe I will speak with other people, and people are on GAFA uh, provider like uh, Google, Facebook, uh, uh, or uh, uh, others. And it's really important because I can get all my 
I'm interested to be, get a, a privacy, but my contact won't have. So it's not, a, it's not okay. Uh, we lose a part of the privacy. It's important to get back to get this, and this interesting about uh, social graph. So, <clears throat> digital age encloses the act of communicating in two technical black boxes, making very difficult for us to understand what's underlying. What we want to do with Calliope and with the privacy index is to make privacy vis visible again. That's our main goal, make privacy visible again. We need to find how we can, and, and when I say we, I speak as a community of developers, we need to find how to make privacy visible again and to build user interface that always show uh, how, why, what level of privacy you are in with the person you're communicating with or when we, you send this kind of message with this kind of channel. <clears throat> and this way, we don't want to, to guilt the, the user and to make them uh, responsible, something like this, of uh, doing bad action by, by sending a uh, message with low privacy level uh, over insecure channel. We just want to show how the privacy, privacy is uh, to, um, make, to, to, to give the desire for the user to improve their privacy index and to change their behavior and to change the way they communicate and to uh, ask for uh, tools, for the, 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 the platform they use, uh, to be more um, informational about what is the privacy, what is the protocol underlying, what's happening, and uh, <clears throat> to have tools that can be eas easy to use as the, the envelope and the later in the envelope is. So that's really the, the challenge we want to uh, bring on the table with Calliope because we are at an early ch stage of the, of, the, of the process of building this privacy index and this user interface. But we have start, started the, the, the process and, uh, and we want to build this kind of user interface that can make the privacy again visible. So, it's about privacy uh, indexes, and we I speak about a mailbox, but it's, a, it's only a, a way to communicate. And like it's what said before, you can drop emails. People still using emails. My bank communicate with me using emails. Other friends, it's a asynchronous process, and we can uh, drop it so easily. But the so email, it's uh, technically easy to get measurement for uh, the privacy. How secure what is, uh, was it? It's uh, oh, we, w which, uh, which uh, really was used, was uh, secure protocol used on the end termi termi uh, termination of the connection, the network communication. The content also, is it PGP or some things? Is it all? Metadata are was leaked. A practice in PGP, for example, is not to set a subject on the email that is related with the content because you will leak metadata, we leak a part of the message you want to deliver privately. It's not okay, but it's only the technical parts and There is always there is the other aspect, like I said, the social graph is important. So privacy is not only technical; it's about other dimensions. It's like social, it's like stance, behavioral. During the time, how I use my communi communication tools, do I, I still want to have a, a privacy and continue? to use strictly PGP or other 
uh, encryption tools. But there is also an, an important part, like we said before, is about the contextual usage of our communication, where we use the, the, the communication tools. Is it at home? Is it at work? Is it in a public uh, place? Or in the tube? Or in the bus, the metro? Okay, <coughs> it's not this part of usage is really important because the, the <laughs> Because it's a really uh, it's a new usage. Smartphone bring us a new type of usage. But before it was desktop at home at work. After it was laptop. We can bring here. And uh, now also smartphone is important. Device is also an important part of the analysis. Yeah. So the device case, <coughs> as Shamal said, uh, we can. We think, as a developer uh, on the Calliopen project and, and working on the privacy index, we think that we can easily build some metrics uh, for the technical point of view. Uh, measure uh, how the protocol was, how secure it was, uh, what was the ops on the email, uh, the header was enclosed or not, etc. Uh, etc. Et it's, it's not easy, very easy, but it's not very difficult to assess this. But there are a lot of other um, issues and uh, information to take account to, to try to build a privacy index. Take, for example, the device I'm using. Is it a smartphone? Is it a laptop? This is, it can influence the privacy index. Uh, but what kind, of what kind of smartphone is it? Is it an Android? Is it an iPhone? Uh, it influences the privacy index. And what is the connection? Is it a GSM connection or is it a Wi-Fi? Is it a public Wi-Fi or is it a private Wi-Fi? Is it a Wi-Fi in Tunisia? Agreed by the state. Means uh, <coughs> state enforced. Yeah, it's okay. I'm the state of Tunisia and I say this way is okay. No. So we need to take account of all this kind of contextual and behavioral um, information to build the privacy index. So the, what we want to say today is that we as developers we need to take account the privacy index and try to calculate it on a technical point of view. But we as developers need also to work with uh, psychologists, sociologists, a lot of other uh, U UX designer, uh, a lot of other competencies to help us to bring all the use cases that build the privacy index um, and to try to find how we can take account of all the contextual uh, 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 and not only the technical one. Uh, and so the, the, the challenge uh, is that it would be great if we can build software that could prevent me or help me to exchange important message over poor privacy channels or with correspondents that have poor privacy index. Uh, and again, it's not the, 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 the aim is not to, to be guilty, but just to help user to make the right choice in the right situation <clears throat> with the right context for the right message. And because today in digital age, it's very, very tough to do this choice because we don't know. So, we need this kind of software, and uh, that's what we are trying to do with okay. Calliopen. So, it's about displaying a flag. Monkey see, monkey do. What it's about? It's like Stan said, it's uh, the envelope the, uh, over the, 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 the letter. It's Calliopen will show a privacy index with information about technical, behavioral, other dimensions about uh, communication, privacy, considerations. And this information will be available for a, each element in Calliopen. A message have a privacy. A contact have a privacy also. 
but also the users using Calliopen have its own privacy index. And in an ideal, ideal world, users on Calliopen can be able to see other user privacy index and know, oh, I can communicate with these other users in a privacy, in privacy manner. It's about all of that. The time is up, so I have to, <laughs> to stop. And it's an effort. You are, you have. Okay. Uh, we want to bring a community to to get privacy back to all users, not technical guys that we are. We are able to 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 encrypt communication like this. So now we have to to bring back to all users their privacy. Calliopon have to be a, a simple tools to make possible to see how pro private is all of our communications. So thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you again. And, and <laughs> ju just join us because this is a call of, particip of particip participation, excuse me. Uh, we are here for the first presentation of Calliopen and Privacy Index. So this is really a work in progress. We are at the beginning of the process. We are a whole team on this. And uh, we hopefully come next year to show you <laughs> what we have done in one year. But we need help with, for, from other developers and not only developers. Thank you. Two minutes for questions. Any questions in the room? I really like Lean Startup. I think we should think of Lean to be software and to help us to ship the products faster. And so I have one quick question. What is the MVP, the minimum viable product of Calliope? So when can it be usable? With the minimum set of functionality. We have a two years project uh, now with a. Oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what is the MVP for uh, Calliopen? Uh, for, okay. So we have an alpha uh, product uh, for October of this year. It's a two years project actually with UPMC, University Paul on Marie Curie and Quant on Gandinet where we are working. Uh, voilà. And it will be a, a, a alpha release for uh, make uh, user testing or that will uh, be uh, take this uh, product. So the, the MVP will be a platform to exchange email, basically the first will be on email, and uh, with uh, how we can show privacy index on the interface, uh, but we don't know really if we will be able to calculate some privacy index uh, this October. Yeah. Deciding what device we consider more private or not seems to be very biased. Do you have any any ideas how to tackle that issue? Of okay. Oh. <laughs> So, so the question was there are a lot of bias when we want to assess privacy index uh, because we have to make a lot of assumptions and uh, we have a lot of, there are a lot of gray areas, we don't know something. Uh, and that's, that's the issue, that, uh, that's what is, is difficult to calculate the privacy index and really I, we don't know how to do it. But we want to, to do it step by step, so first we will Ask, uh, measure what we can measure, so uh, what we can we can definitely see when when something uh, comes or, or, or when, and we we want to um, uh, slightly um, um, gather more and more uh, contributors and uh, um, maybe a proposal, maybe uh, uh, ideas, uh, and to find how we can assess the, 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 the kind of user case you, you, 
you, you spoke about, and uh, and to see how we can uh, handle this. And uh, we 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 th we think that we can't have just one metric uh, to measure the privacy index. We we will need to um, balance between between different metrics, and uh, we think it's uh, it may be it may take years to to build the privacy index. Yeah, because there is a lot of gray area and. Uh, it's very difficult, but that's why we are here, and, and we want to, to gather uh, communities around this concept because we need it. Time's up. Time's up. Thank you. Thank you. Désolé, je finis le truc. Désolé, je vais les comme ça. C'est qui présente Matrix Non. Oui. J'imagine qu'il va arriver. Ouais. 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 Ouais.